The puck drops in 50 minutes on a brisk pre-pandemic night, and Flyers fans are waiting. But Gritty doesn't care. He was told to leave his locker room at precisely 6.38 p.m., but 6.38 can go to hell. Gritty isn't coming. Not until he's ready. Gritty does whatever Gritty wants. So he lurks behind his locked double doors on the other side of a one-way window. Gritty sees out. Nobody sees in. Gritty is almost five minutes late, and Herman, his no-nonsense stadium security guard, starts pacing the gray-carpeted Wells Fargo Center corridor. Only five people in the world can unlock Gritty's door via fingerprint identification. Herman, paid to protect Gritty at all costs, is not one of those people. A mysterious man coming and going from Gritty's locker room is one of those people. With slick back dark hair and a five o'clock shadow mustache, the ominous figure wears a black tie, black suit, and black sunglasses. The man in black opens the door, carefully, just wide enough for his slim frame to slip through, no wider. Even the slightest glimpse into Gritty's inner sanctum is forbidden. Why the security? The air of mystery and intrigue. Because behind these doors is motherfucking Gritty. The mascot who kidnapped the public eye. The meme turned pop culture icon. The legend Philadelphians revere as a furry orange emblem for their underdog city. He brings this aroma that people cherish, says Bernie Perron, the NHL Hall of Famer and tough guy goalie for the 1970s Flyers. The way he comes across is always with love and happiness and hope. And that's what life is all about. At 6.44 p.m., six minutes behind schedule, the most transcendent personality in the NHL Hockey League is finally ready. Ice Ice Baby, Vanilla Ice's pulsing anthem pumps from inside the locker room. The double doors swing open, and Gritty arrives in full glory. Seven feet tall, orange as hell, with shaggy dog fur and the torso of a walrus. He rocks a green and yellow bathing suit and a black t-shirt emblazoned with the dictionary definition of Gritty. Nearly impossible to read, because Gritty never stands still. Riding a hoverboard as he scans the corridor, Gritty glances at me with his softball-sized eyes. The soulless orange iris is dancing to and fro. His toothless mouth is open, as always, revealing a sliver of his pink tongue. Gritty knows who I am. Gritty knows why I'm here. But Gritty doesn't give a crap about me. So he turns his giant head and rolls by, speeding away on his hoverboard at nearly 15 miles per hour. The next time I stare face to face with America's most talked about mascot, he'll rip my notebook from my hands and throw it to the ground in disgust.